So what's up people and welcome to the Mission 39 discussion of Spy Family. So Mission 39 came out a couple of days ago and as always I will leave a link to this mission that is currently being shown on the publisher's official website Manga Plus to the North American audience for at least a few weeks so if you're interested yeah go to the description section and uh, use the link to take a look at the chapter. Anyway, uh, Mission 39. I would like to say right off the bat that I really enjoyed Mission 39. Yeah, this mission, it's very different from the other chapters that we have read so far. And yeah, I really, really enjoyed this. The story is very off from the main story of Operation Strix. And in fact, it doesn't even involve the Folger family. So there is no Anya, Yor, or Lloyd in this chapter. And yet I really enjoyed the chapter a lot because it focused on Damien. And not only Damien, but his gang. And the thing I really liked about it is if many people read the chapter, they may say that this chapter is very wholesome. But the reason I like it is because it's very heartening. And you may think that that's very similar in description, but what I feel when I say heartening is something that's a little bit deeper than wholesome. Wholesome is something like you could take a picture of a cute little chicken and it would be very wholesome, but there's really no depth to that character that you see. It's just a photo of a very wholesome picture. Heartening, when I say, is because you reveal that character that is underneath that image, right? So far, we've had the image of the gang, right? Damien and the other two kids, which we typically don't get the name of. But in this one, we got at least their last names of Elman and Eckberg, if I remember. And what we find is that this is a very heartening chapter when we read about the bonding that these three children have. And I absolutely love the way Tatsuya Endo brought it out. You see, it continues on from what we saw in chapter 38, where Damien, when his father, Desmond Donovan, visited the school, got some information that the father actually had some care for the son. And so that inspires Damien to go out and try to gather more stellar stars. And that's how chapter 39 or mission 39 starts. We find Damien basically working himself to death, you know, studying and trying to learn everything to get the next stellar star through academic excellence. But what it's doing is it's basically burning him out. And this is during a vacation time when the school is off. But Damien is so much into studying late at night that he had a hard time getting up even for the morning muster which i guess is the morning inspection is another way of saying it and so he gets a detention even though the school is off and he has to help the staff you know do some of the chores including laundry and this is where we start getting into the depth of the characters that are coming out first of all we learn a little bit more about Mr. Henderson. And I really do like the character of Mr. Henderson because aside from him being elegant, he is definitely a very kind character. And despite that this is a detention, he's actually doing this not to punish Damien, but to give him a break from that studying so that he doesn't completely burn himself out. And what's interesting is, of course, Damien's friends, the two kids, uh, Eckberg and uh, Elman, come up and uh, tell him that there's a movie going on. Everybody's going to go on a movie field trip. And Damien says that he has to stay back because of detention. And this is where we find out that there is a very strong bond between these three because the other two kids <laughs> purposely do these things to break the rules that get them into detention. And you find out that that is because they really do care about Damien. Up till now, you know, what you've thought about these three were that these three were going to be the antagonists to the Anya world, right? Not the Loli Folger world, but the Anya world in the school. And it started out that way. And they had that personality that you always hate, right? That very irritating, egotistical personality. But as you keep on going, we found out more about Damien 
and that gave a little bit more complexity and a little bit more understanding of who that person was. What we find in this one is that, yeah, you often find that, you know, when there's other people following somebody who's kind of rich and powerful, they do it because they are rich and powerful, not because of the fact that they like the person. But what we find from this chapter is that those two kids, even when Damien is not in a strong position, are willing to follow him and care for him. And not only do they go into detention, but they literally uh, spend a lot of time with Damien uh, to make sure that he is okay, even sacrificing not only the movie, but also the free dinner that comes after it that they were initially looking forward to. And it goes further into the story when Mr. Henderson decides to take that one step further and gives Damien a second detention where he asks a new character, Mr. Green, to take them on an adventure into nature. Yeah, this was very interesting. Uh, this is one of those where the kids are thrown into the nature and they are forced to learn to survive in that situation. But unlike a lot of these sorts of situations where it's more a stressful situation and it's kind of the survival of the fittest, Mr. Green turns out to be a really, really cool guy because he comes along as a chaperone and despite nature being the tough situation, he's there to help them enjoy the adventure and get the thrill out of overcoming a lot of the problems that you will have when you're forced to be alone in the forest. And so they learn things like fishing and surviving. And what they find is that despite the sacrifice that the three children made in not going to dinner, the fish that they caught in the wild and they grilled by themselves turned out to be a lot more wonderful meal than the dinner that they missed. And so this turns into a soul-searching and personal growth sort of situation for the three children. And the bonding that they already had gets further strengthened due to the adventure that they go through. And I absolutely love that final panel where you see the expression on Damien's face while he's out in this adventure. So this was a really good story. And this gave much more depth into these three characters. And unlike a lot of these other comics where these three characters are often found to be very annoying characters because they are often tagged as the antagonist, I really like the fact that Tatsuya Ando gave them a strong positive character. They may not always be on the side of Anya, but they do have a very caring characteristic of their own and those two friends of Damien definitely value him very much as a friend. And so anyway, that is Mission 39 and I enjoyed it very much and I'll continue to bring out more of these videos as more missions come out and I hope you join me at that time. Yeah, so what do you think about the mission? Did you find it to be annoying that we went off from Operation Strix that we actually fell into quite well in Mission 38? Or did you very much enjoy the bonding that we saw between these three characters, uh, Damien and his friends? Anyway, if you could leave a comment in the comment section below, I would very much appreciate it. And I hope you join me in my next video for Mission 40. And until then, happy manga reading and giant nice day everyone.